I see a shadow on my stage. And so, no matter how you measure, it's six more weeks of winter weather. Punxsutawney Village is like never impressed. <laughs> His reaction is always the same, regardless of what we did not want to hear on this Groundhog Day. Phil saw his shadow, and he's predicting six more weeks of winter. We'll see what our meteorologists say about that. Uh, one of his chief rival, the Buckeye Chuck up in Ohio, also poked his head out of his burrow, and he agreed, seeing his shadow and saying winter is going to stick around. It's not just rodents. Connecticut scrambled the duck, also made it an early morning to make his prediction. And yep, winter is not over. I didn't even know, I'd never heard of the duck before. Um, one rebel, Staten Island Chuck, a third groundhog, he greeted the uh, day predicting we'll get an early spring. So I guess we'll see who's correct or what is correct. Uh, so we are still waiting for Texas's own BK Bob, the armadillo to weigh in. Wonder if he'll uh, even up the odds, maybe going for an early spring. I guess we'll see. Marielle, I know you probably, after all those years of school, <laughs> are really impressed that a rodent, I'm not even sure what they're classified as, uh -huh. can come out and predict the weather. What are your thoughts about this? You know, this is the one time of the year where I just kind of sit back, kick my feet up, <laughs> let them do my job. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, we were talking, Phil stats, that great, only 40% accuracy. Your local meteorology team, much, much higher percentage of Okay, give me a high Correct. five on yes, that. Yes. We're going to trust, we're gonna trust the expert. Take that, Phil. <laughs>